Hello people, welcome to Unwrap with me, your girl Helen. Today I'm chatting with a legend. I'm actually nervous talking to him because I'm thinking he'll be looking at all my mistakes. But this is a guy who's been in the industry, entertainment industry for a long time. He's a radio personality, TV personality, and he's also a PR practitioner. I'm talking about Kalumba Chikonde, popularly known as K-Smash. But let's get chatting with him on the other side. Welcome back. I mentioned earlier that I'll be chatting with K-Smash. K-Smash, welcome. Well, thank you very much for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, how are you? I'm great. Looking smart. You know, I'm trying to look all grown and sexy. No, this look is actually good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Alright, uh, K-Smash, just tell us a little bit about you. Like your upbringing, were you born in Lusaka, Copper Belt? Yeah. I was born in Lusaka. Um, I'm going to be turning 40 this year. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I always okay. tell people like, come on, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not as young as you think I am. I'm gonna be turning 40 in November. I was born in Lusaka. I went to school at Emmanuel School. Um, I, I went to Monali Boys Secondary School. Uh, then after Monali Boys, I went to Ulihon College. I did a bit of accounting there. I, I stopped. Then I went to Zikas to yeah. continue with accounts. I, I did cut at Zikas, and then after that, I went to do a degree in public relations and uh, that's what I have. I'm getting into my master's uh, in the next couple of, of weeks. Um, uh, yeah, I'm the last born in the family of eight. We were, yeah, we were eight. Actually, we're now seven. I, I lost a brother and uh, so I'm Kasuli. Congratulations. <laughs> Your achievements turning 40. You, you look young, you know. I know, like, I know, I know. Like, like, so when these young girls come, I tell them I'm your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Do they buy that though? Uh, some of them think I'm 28. I'm just joking, by the way. But there are people that think I'm 28 yeah. or 32. No, 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 I'm actually going to be 40. And I'm proud of that. All right, uh, growing up, what kind of a person were you? You know, you, you are in this entertainment industry. You look so hype. Were you always like that? Um, yes and no. I, well, I, was, I was quite a scared kid. I had a very strict father. You know, my father was very strict, so I was very a little bit closed up, and I used to get scared of so many things. But one thing I loved was reading, so I used to uh, keep myself reading. I loved uh, painting a lot. I, 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 I'm, I'm quite a artistic. I, I loved painting. I loved football, playing football. I loved music, and yeah. in my childhood, I loved break dancing. I was a break dancer. I, I you did. still dance? Of course, I still do break dance. I actually won break dance for the Madala some. <laughs> Some five years ago, I think really? there was life. You know, life likes yeah. doing break dance yeah, like, for yeah, five years. Yeah, yeah. And there was me and some other guys who could still break dance in their old age. And I, I, I was the champion. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, let's take a break. But uh, this break, I want you to pick one music video. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna play a quick viral. I think the guys have come up with a very unique style. Um, first, I thought they were not Zambian. So when I heard the Nyanja and the Bemba. I yeah. was like, this is a Zambian video because yeah. I had watched it on an international channel and I love what they're doing. I also love their new video featuring Cleo Ice Queen. I think they're doing a great job. So um, we're going to play a video called uh, Kukalale. Great. Okay, let's check out Click Viral with Kukalale. Hey, this is Tishan, the definition of dancehall music, the supreme dancehall daddy. And you're watching and rap with your girl, Helen. Keep it right there, sir. Don't move it. Watch out. Oh baby, no luta number. No pita kukalale, kapena ninga pese ko umoyo. Na lema kufutika, umoyo osuzika. But I promise I will be coming back with uh, my pimp, my mama shoni, ka business ka saloni. I promise I will be coming back. Yeah. Malama yo pato 
ndo tiala ni didi kantano mafuto ya chiluka seo mfwile fena piyamo ulende opita kuzafuna koma picha la maganyu tika tina gula kale maelo mawana nishita kwela DCM auto soft to put a dendo disa debo na beba anakma kwebo ya sabi I'm ready to give baichi mbo zupa kupasuka kwi katilira mchama saka mavali weyo kate kwe shano kulanda po fiyonze fiyali boso ka so Leka mbombe na po mabi Oh baby no luta nomba No pita kukalale Kapena ninga peze ko umoyo Nalema kufutika Umoyo osuzika But I promise I will be coming back With mabi mama manshoni Ka business ka saloni My name is KB and you are watching Unwrapped with Helen. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So that was Click Viral featuring Dimple Williams with Kukalale. Yeah? Great song, great video. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. The guys are doing a great job. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, K-Smash, are you married? Not yet, but I'm not available. Yeah, not I'm yet. taking. But, you know, I, there, were, there were so many rumors of you getting married. No, he's getting married this time. There'll be a wedding this time. <laughs> you actually talked about your own wedding on People's Choice those days. Yeah, no, not that I talked about my own wedding. I just, uh, I remember that, that time I was I was telling B1 that I would like him to perform Pilo mm -hmm. on my wedding. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you're, you it was a it was a statement, uh, a futuristic statement. Like any time, it can be tomorrow, it can be next week. But I would love him to perform Pilo. You know what I mean? Mm. The wedding is definitely gonna come. You will know about it. You never cancel the wedding. I have never cancelled the wedding, but I have uh, postponed uh, Chilanga Mulilo before. And it happened. No, it didn't happen. You just postponed, and that was the end. Uh, obviously, two families had to sit. You know, uh, there were issues that needed to to be. Ironed out, and I'm glad that obviously a concession, you know, was reached, at, and I'm sure going forward it, it, it's going to happen because we needed to follow the traditional procedures before it, it happens. Yeah. All right. Uh, rumor has it that you have twins. That I have twins. Yeah. Like I'm Shimpundu. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Wow, congratulations! <laughs> I've got a boy and a girl. Yeah. What are their names? Is there a, the boy? Is it, is it Kalumba? <laughs> yeah, you got it right. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> it is Kalumba Chikonde. Yeah, the boy. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, and okay. the girl is Kaluba. 
Nice. So it's Kalumba and Kalumba. When do we get to see them? Because I haven't seen any pics on social yeah, media. Yeah, nobody has or... seen them yet. Nobody has seen them yet. Uh, yeah, we're going to see them very, very soon. I'm, I'm going to have a beautiful photo session with them. Mm-hmm. And uh, you'll be able to see them. I'm proud of them. They're beautiful. They're beautiful kid. And, you know, it's, it's, it's rare that people have twins. And God bless me with twins. And I'm, I'm really thankful to God. Okay, are we hearing wedding bells this year or something? Um, you get to know. We'll cross the bridge when you come to it. Obviously, that's in the pipeline. It's very important, you know. Um, yeah, marriage for me is something I've, I've, I've looked at as a very important thing, and I've always wanted to to get married when I'm psychologically, emotionally ready, and financially ready. Mm-hmm. That's what is important. A lot of people have told me, "Ah, but you delayed." There was a time I was in school, I was studying. You know, I needed to attend a certain level of education for me to 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 get married and also to have a certain amount of income and a certain job that was was, was very very stable so yeah i think now it's the word of god obviously um, family also has been giving me pressure and uh time has come i think it's the best time i've been there done that and i think i'm gonna make a great husband how did you manage to go with, you know, like most of the time when people are pressurized by family, mm. they even end up marrying the wrong person. How did you manage to just say, you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to marry because my family is talking, because my friends are talking. How did you manage to just stand up for yourself? Okay, one of the things is um, I hate divorce, just like God hates divorce. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, I come from a broken home, you know, and my parents divorced when I was very, very young. So I've seen what I, 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 I had to go through myself and my siblings as well and um, I've always wanted to be convinced when, when when I marry this is what I really want and uh, this is who I want to be with for the rest of my life obviously people will judge you based on your on on, 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 on your age uh, based on your career as well but you are the person that's getting into that marriage and I think people should not be pressured to get married for the sake of getting married or because of, 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 of finances like okay they think I'm gonna get married to this girl because she comes from a rich family or this man because he's got money. It backfires in the end. I think that the, the, the basis of any marriage should be should be love. This is the person you're gonna be with for the rest of your life. You know, not that I haven't met good people in my life. I've met beautiful women. I've met good people in my life. And unfortunately, some of them it hasn't worked. And that doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't even make them bad people. It probably didn't work and probably we were just not meant to be. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I, I, ho- I hope a lot of people can hear that because you know there's a lot of yeah. Love I mean, if you have to get married, you're 25. This way for ladies, when you're 25, mm-hmm. it's like pressure just starts mounting, and most people end up not. So you are the kind of person who says, you know, I'm gonna marry, and I want this to work forever. I want this to work forever, and you see, it saddens me when I see the the rate of divorce among us young people. Mm-hmm. I have people that I know who married when they were young. They were 23, they were 24, when we were growing up, probably they were not ready. And today some of them are divorced, God forbid, and it's, it's, it's sad, obviously, mm-hmm. that they had to go through that. But, um, yeah, for me, I told myself there are certain things I needed to put in place uh, before I say I do. And I'm glad that I feel, you know, emotionally ready. I feel, yeah, and also, let's not forget that God's time is always the best time. All right, on that note, let's take another break, then we'll continue chatting. All right. All righty, so I'm still chatting with K Smash, and for now, let's just take a breather. Welcome back. I'm still chatting with K Smash. Hope you've enjoyed the show so far. He's shared some deep stuff and encouraging stuff, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm impressed. I like the deep stuff. How deep was deep? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, deep as much as we can go. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, cool. All right, uh, you've been, how long have you been in the entertainment industry? I've been in the industry for 20 years. I wow. joined when I was young. I was 19, turning 20. Okay. So this is like 20 I've grown up in the industry. Yeah. Really. Yeah. 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 How's it been? It's been rough. And I'm sure a lot of people don't expect me to say that. It's been frustrating. It's been rough. It's been a learning process. Um, it's been exciting sometimes. It's been really sad sometimes. We're like, what am I doing in this industry? God, 
I don't deserve to be in this industry because one, there is not as much money as people think in this industry. Um, it can be really frustrating. I have worked before for six months without pay in this industry. I have worked before for two years in this industry without pay, but consistent, dedicated. You know what I mean now. Um, it's a tough industry. I, I'm sure you, you can relate oh, to what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's, it's been, I think it's been a very painful experience. But you love it. I love it. I'm very passionate about it. But one thing I know is nothing comes easy. That is good. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes you ask God, like, God, why am I in this industry that's so frustrating, you know? But I don't allow the frustration to creep because I think if, it's the first time I've probably even talked about frustration in the media, you know? Because people always look at me as a this very positive minded person, but sometimes it's good to be real and tell people just the way it is. A lot of young people come to me and they, we admire you, K-Smash, you want to be on radio, you want to be on TV, so I always sit them down and say, it's not as rosy as you think. You need to be very passionate. I think what has kept me going for me is passion. Yeah. And because um, out of radio, obviously, I've been able to earn other income, you know what I mean? Just apart from the salary I get on radio or on TV, I've been able to do events here and there, save a little money. From that money, you take yourself to school, you know. I've been self-sponsoring myself all my college life after university, you know. It's been crazy. Yeah, yeah. not easy. Yeah, it's okay. been crazy, yeah. Okay, uh, but you have two sides. You have the, the official side yeah. and you have... Just tell us about your official side. Okay. Uh, yeah. Obviously, in my career, I've got the, the I've got the media side. I've got the corporate side as well. Um, on the media side, um, obviously, I want I just want to say thank you once again to the three radio stations I've worked for, and I want to take this opportunity. I worked for Radio Phoenix for a very long time. Yeah. I started my career there. Then I went to QFM. From QFM, we started Hot FM. Zach called me. I came, dude. Can we start the radio, the radio station? You know, me, Zach, um, Oscar, and Kenny Tonga. We were we started Hot FM then. Uh, I've still been with Hot FM from day one. I'm actually the creative director of that radio station. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, I've been creative director from, I was the first programs manager, then I was station manager. But throughout my corporate career, even in my media career, I've always uh, declared wherever I've worked uh, that I have a, a, you know, a leg in, in Hot FM as a director level. So I'm the guy who's in charge of the creative side of the business, uh, the content, the programming as well. I work with a team, obviously, a lot of people. Yeah, so that's where I am. And, um, I'm doing the morning show at the moment yeah. on Hot FM. Then when it comes to my corporate career, um, I first joined corporate world 10 years ago. I've got 10 years corporate experience. Uh, my first corporate job was at the uh, Finance Building Society, which is a subsidiary finance bank. So I worked in a bank for eight years. Um, I started off as, a, as a, a trainee, PR and marketing officer. Then I rose to assistant manager, marketing and PR. After that, I, I wanted to, you know, to change industries and just have a feel of how it is to work in a multinational company. So I worked for, for MultiChoice, uh, Zambia. Um, I joined as GoTV Public Relations Officer. Then I was promoted after nine months to uh, DSTV uh, Public Relations Officer and also internal um, communications um, officer. So I was in charge of internal communications and also public relations for the, for the DSTV brand until uh, April when I decided to go back to school to do uh, my master's in, 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 in marketing. So the master's I'll be pursuing is, 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 is uh, an executive MBA in, in, in marketing. So I'm doing radio. I do PR consultancy. Um, me and my friend uh, Patience Sanger uh, run a company called Quattro Media. Okay. So we do PR, communications, media, social media management, and and other comms related um, issues. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, nice. Now we understand that um, you being on radio, you've done TV, you're doing a local show. You know so much about Zambian music. I just want you to tell me what you think of Zambian music now. Um, you see, we had started quite well, eh? Uh, when I look at the days of Mondo music, uh, the days of Kula music, the days of Sling Beat, the days of uh, Acton, obviously, the TK is still there, Roma side, and we've got great producers like KB, Killer Beats, we've got Kekero, uh, we've got uh, uh, Shopsi, um, we've got uh, Tony Breezy, you know, this, this is a new new era of guys that are doing an excellent good job, you know what I mean? Um, but we, we've become a little bit stuck. 
the moment. I don't know what is going on. We seem to be neither here nor there. You and me will agree that Nigerian music has overshadowed Zambian music at the moment. Yeah, too much. Go to any party, go to a wedding, you know. It's all about Niger and house music. Mm -hmm. So we need to go back and say, guys, what are we doing wrong? Where are we? What do we need to do? I think we need to create our own sound. Sometimes we go with the flow because mm -hmm. the beat that's happening sounds like baby pana. Yeah. We wanna go that route. Yeah. That's not the way to go. We, 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 Zambia has got great talent. Right? We've got we've got great musicians here. But what we need to do is firstly self believe. Yeah. We need to believe in ourselves. We need to believe in our product as the Zambian people. The DJs, we need to also believe in our artists. We need to play as much Zambian music as possible to boost the industry, to help the industry as well. Yeah, don't you think, I feel like radio has so much influence with the kind of music that we spread out there. Yeah, 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 and, and, and I would like to encourage government, if they can put it as policy as well, to increase yeah. the, you know, the, the, the amount of, you know, of, 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 of local music that we're playing. Because, look, when I listen to a lot of local radio stations at the moment, 90% uh, of the playlist is, is, is foreign music. Yeah. But what are we doing to our industry? We're killing it. But to the Zambian musicians, you need to step up your game. Yeah. You need to step up your game, guys. You know, like, Zambian musicians have become so reluctant. They've become so easy, relaxed, you know. You need to make sure that the quality of your videos are tight. You need to make sure that your marketing skills are on point. You need to now start looking at it as a business, not just I release a song, I do a video, and not that. All of these guys that are, if, 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 if I may give you an example of the artists that are doing well in Zambia on an international front. For example, Roberto. Roberto has got a manager. Slab D has got a manager. Mark II has got a manager. Yeah. JK has got a manager. Meaning that other artists can take a leaf from this. You need a manager. So once we have an organized industry, which we don't have at the moment, unfortunately, Things like personal branding for artists will come to play, and then we'll start seeing endorsements because the corporates should play a role. Yeah. You know, the corporates have got a huge role to play in terms of propelling our industry to the next level. What makes a Nigerian artist, South African artist, is the endorsements, the media there makes them look big, and we also have a job as the media and the DJs. Sometimes it baffles me that I hear that a DJ has got beef with a musician oh, yeah, over yeah. a girl. It like was, it even goes on social media. Like hello, like, yeah, it, we guys are supposed to be partners. Yeah. So I want to age all the radio DJs or the club DJs out there, guys. We need to support this industry. We need to work together. This is our industry. It can create revenue and also government. I think we need a lot of uh, political will in as far as uh, enhancing this industry. The, the creative industry as a whole is concerned. You know what I mean? Um, Nigeria film and music industry is where it is because government pumped in money. So it's been Paco Boma Yang and But in Kali, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, Zambian music and Zambian film. I think we can go somewhere. And I've seen obviously the creation of the arts industry is one where the government has shown political will, but a lot more can be done. Okay, on that note, pick another music video, Zambian music video that we need to film. All right, the next video is coming from an artist I met when he was still in college. He performed at Miss Horn in the year 2004. Nobody knew him, they almost booed him, but I saw something in him and I said, Wait a minute guys, don't boo this guy, I'm going to call him again to perform. When he performed, people clapped. The following day I asked him, man, I need to do an interview with you on radio. I walked with him around a couple of radio stations. He had a single called Ngatimuziva. And now, he's a big star. Ladies and gentlemen, T-Boy, I miss you featuring Chef 187.
Welcome back. So that was T-Boy featuring Chef with I Miss You. You, you said, uh, there's some point you tweeted to say Chef is one of your favorite artists. Absolutely. One of the most original artists in this yeah. country. He's, he's very creative. I love his punchlines. Um, I like his stage presence as well. And most importantly, I love his humility. He's a very humble guy oh, yeah. and he's going places. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, we've come to the end of the show. Have you enjoyed yourself? Wow, this was a great conversation. Um, I didn't know what I was expecting when I came here. I was asking you to send me the questions in advance. <laughs> but it's yeah. like this show is just spontaneous. Yeah, it, well, it's actually better if we can just chat. I love and, it. I yeah. love it. It's real. I mean, you have allowed me to be who I am. Uh, there are so many things I've said today that probably I have never said. And it's cool for me. I've opened up. Great. Yeah. Uh, so before I let you go, I want you to look into the camera and just encourage a young person who is thinking of joining the media, music, it can be music, radio, TV, anything. Right. To anybody who's thinking of getting into this industry and you're watching the show right now, I just want to tell you that the most important thing that it should uh, propel you to get into the industry is firstly passion. You know, you need to be very, very passionate about this because without passion, you're definitely going to give up because it is not yeah. easy. And then you need to be very, very patient because um, the only way you're going to make money is through a lot of consistency. Um, you. You need to, to pay your dues, you know. You need to be in the industry for a very, very long time. Uh, you need to create a brand for yourself. People need to trust you that you, you're, you're good enough for them to, you know, to hire you as a DJ or as a TV presenter or as an MC. The other thing is that you need to be very thick-skinned. People will talk about you. People are going to pull you down. People are going to throw stones at you. But you need to believe in yourself. You need to, to, to just know where you're going. And I think that's what I wanted to tell somebody. Otherwise, it's all good. It, it's fun. It, it's exciting. It's fulfilling. I mean, there's nothing important as waking up in the morning to go and do what you love doing without extra effort. And you're getting paid for it. Oh, man. It's a good feeling. Okay, k -Smash, Thank you so much. Those are some encouraging words. Thank you very much for hosting me once again, and uh, I really appreciate you're doing a very great job. And uh, Thank you. don't give up. Thank you. It can be hard, but don't give up. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep pushing. <laughs> All right, so I've been chatting with Case Smash on this show today. Hope you've been encouraged. I think he said a lot of encouraging things, especially for any young person who wants to join the media industry or any other industry that you want to join. I think you need to be passionate. You need to persevere. So this has been your girl Helen, and remember to like our Facebook page and wrap with Helen, and also. Follow links to our YouTube channel and watch these episodes as many times as you wish to. From me and the entire rap crew, bye-bye.